sausage. I got my barbecue shoes on. I'm going down to the house of sausage. Welcome to the barbecue pitboys.com. Today we're going to do some flat iron steaks on the grill. You're talking some good eating steak right here. Now, here's a flat iron steak, and you can see here it's got a generous supply of marbling. In fact, this steak is uh, nearly as tender as a tenderloin, and it makes it a perfect steak for grilling over an open fire over charcoal grill. All right. Now, there are a lot of recipes that call for marinating this steak, but uh, because it's got such good flavor, I'd say just put a rub on it, and that's the way we like to serve them up around here. Now, to make our rub, We've got about a tablespoon of garlic uh, flake, and we're going to use about a teaspoon of uh, chili powder, and uh, we're going to use a couple teaspoons of salt. Of course, you could use your own favorite uh, steak rub for this recipe, but if you don't have one handy, you want to try this one. It's real good. Now, we're going to put a couple teaspoons of fresh ground black peppercorn in here. Now, if you've never had flat iron steaks before, you definitely got to check them out. They have that rich beef flavor of a sirloin, but they're as nearly as tender as a tenderloin. Now, here I'm going to add a couple teaspoons of brown sugar, and we're going to give it a good mix. Now, these steaks also go by the name of uh, butler's steaks or oyster blade steaks, and they're cut from the chuck or the beef shoulder. And, uh, Sometimes you can find them uh, labeled uh, top blade steaks or even top blade roast. All right, now we're putting this uh, rub on and we're gonna leave that rub on for, oh, maybe uh, 15, 20 minutes. Now you can go a lot longer than that, but uh, the longer you leave the rub on, of course, the more the uh, flavor will penetrate the meat. All right, simple enough. Now we're gonna uh, we're gonna sear these steaks on a real hot grill. So we're gonna uh, insert our grill, get it good and hot. All right, clear off the table a bit. Now we've already got our mushrooms uh, sliced about a pound of mushrooms there and the only thing we have left to do here is a slice up from onions now I happen to have some sweet onions these are sweet vidayas but you could use a Texas sweet or Oaxacan sweet sweet onions are real good on a pit now you only want to quarter these onions up we're gonna make some wedges Of course, we got some sides going on in the back. We got some homemade baked beans. We got some fresh corn. We got some potato wedges. Man, you want to serve up your flat irons with your favorite sides. All right. Now, we'll just quarter up these onions, like I said. You know all about doing that. I don't have to show you any more of that. Nothing like steak, onions, and mushrooms. All right, those are done. Now we've got a real hot grill going on here. We're just going to add some of our favorite cooking oil. Throw these onions on there because we're going to saute them up lightly. on those mushrooms. Throw on a little bit more oil. Man, it's smelling good already.
Now we're going to do this only for a few minutes. We don't want to overcook these onions. Now if you don't have a sweet onion, you're just using a regular uh, cooking onion, then you might want to cook it down a little bit more. Now we're going to put on some barbecue pit boys uh, spices. It's a little salt, pepper, and garlic. Put the cover on, cook them for a few more minutes. All right. Yeah, throw a little bit of cheese on those potato wedges back there. Man, are you getting hungry or what? Yeah, time to pull them baked beans off the grill. All right, a few more minutes has gone by. I'm gonna start pulling off some of these onions and mushrooms. Now, of course, if you don't have a grill like this, uh, you can use a black iron pan. You get good results anyway. Now, we're going to put these right on this grill. I'm going to sear them. Only for a minute or two each side. Yeah, we'll flip them, sear the other side. Now, you could do this directly over a medium uh, charcoal. But uh, we're going to do them right on this flat iron right here. Throw the next one on. Man. Of course, you want to wipe your board down for the food police and germaphobes. All right. Another minute or two has gone by. And uh, we like to eat our steaks rare, especially a good cut of steak like this flat iron. But you can cook it the way you want. We're going to let that steak rest for a few minutes. that one. Pull a few more onions off. Ooh, some more of them mushrooms. Man, good eating. Won't get any better than this. All right, now this steak's been resting for about five, six minutes, and uh, we're just gonna take a nice little slice in there, and you can see how it's cutting. Cutting like butter, like a tenderloin, but again, with all that beefy taste of a sirloin. We got it just the way we want it, good and rare. Let's pull this one off the grill. In fact, it's time to plate up these flat iron steaks. And we do apologize for eating in front of you like this. Gonna put in my bib, gonna mix some sauce. Grab my own delay, baby, show you who's boss. Got my seed in my hair, baby, I don't care. Gonna burn some biscuits, grab me a pair of oh. Gotta pile on some of them mushrooms and onions.
Serve up some beans and potato wedges. I reckon there's uh, not any more I can say about these flat iron steaks. It's time to eat. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your barbecue, you check out the barbecuepitboys.com.